In today's video, I'll walk you through everything you need to set up your Raspberry Pi Pico 2 from scratch. We'll cover the essentials step by step so by the end you'll have your Pico 2 ready program and use in your projects. Let's get started. You need a Raspberry Pi Pico 2 board, a USB cable, data support, a computer running Windows, Mac operating system or Linux. Optionally, a breadboard and jumper wires if you want to test with external components like LEDs or sensors. The fastest way to start coding on a Pico 2 is to use MicroPython. To make coding easier, download and install an IDE called Thony. Head to thony.org and install it for your operating system. Once it's installed, you're ready to load firmware onto the Pico 2. Before we can program the Pico 2, we need to put it in a bootloader mode, locate the boot cell button on your Pico 2, press and hold it. While still holding the button, connect the Pico 2 to your computer with a USB cable. Once plugged in, release the boot cell button. Your Pico 2 should appear as a removable drive on your computer called RPI-RP2. Go to the official Raspberry Pi documentation or simply search Raspberry Pi Pico MicroPython UF2 file. Download the MicroPython UF2 for your specific Pico 2 model. After download Loading, open the RPI RP2 drive and drag the UF2 file into it. The Pico 2 will automatically re reboot and disappear as a mass storage device. But don't worry, that means it's successfully flashed MicroPython. Now open Thony in the lower right corner or go to Tools, Options, followed by Interpreter. Select MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico 2. Make sure the correct port is selected if you're on Windows. With your Pico 2 still plugged in, you should now see a Python prompt at the bottom of Thony. If it says MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico 2, you're good to go. My Pico 2 is still brand new, therefore I have not connected it yet to test it with several components. However, if you have your Pico 2 soldered already, you can do a simple blink test. Connect an LED and a resistor to the Pico 2's GPIO pin 15. Or for example, if you have a breadboard, put this code in Thony's editor, which I've also included in the description. Save the file, choose to save it on the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 and give it a name like blink.py, run the code the LED on pin 15 should start blinking every second. If you don't have an external LED, you can do the same with the built-in LED on the original Pico boards. Explore sensors and modules. There are plenty of libraries that support I2C, SPI, and UART devices with MicroPython. Use the Pico 2 for Wi-Fi enabled projects. You'll just need to import the network libraries to connect to Wi-Fi. Look at examples inside Thony or the Raspberry Pi documentation for more advanced projects like controlling servers, reading temperature, or connecting an OLED display. In just a few minutes, you've set up your Raspberry Pi Pico 2 with MicroPython. Run your first simple program. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more DIY electronics tutorials, and let me know in the comments what projects you're excited to build with the Pico 2.